we start this episode, I need a favor real quick from you. When you hear this song, I, need- I can't get loose. I already know what you're doing. Bro, you have to. Nah, you can just do something in your chair real quick, my nigga. I'm going to bow my head. Yeah. Like nah, nah, just. No. We ain't, we ain't on that type of time no more. <laughs> nah, you owe me. You were 30 no, minutes. Bro. 30 minutes. Playing bro. the traffic. 30, 30 minutes. Traffic. Nah. And you I said, had you drive said, you said, you said 215. Just give me, just give me a little. Shimmy. Shimmy. <laughs> I got you. Not you played this, bro. Bro, that's that shit though. Yeah, locker that's room. What was you doing? Then, oh just, just give me, just. What we doing? Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was on that. We was on that. Yes, sir. Right. About it, yo. Welcome to the EITR podcast, the Elephant in the Room podcast. If you're new here. Please like and subscribe. We need the likes. We are broke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you said that. Yeah. Now we feel better. But um, Josh is out today. He's out there finding himself and shit. But he'll be back soon. I'm actually accompanied by my big bro, my big dog, Big Casey. Big Basie. Big Bass. You know what I'm Sorry, saying? Big Basie. And today we got one of the latest niggas ever in history. Nigga that doesn't know no type of time. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Love Island's very own. Cincinnati's very own. Thank you. Jeff, big body, he got more head than he got body. Christian, how we doing today, brother? We're doing good, baby. Good. Thank you for having me. For sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely a blessing. It's big that y'all doing this, too, yeah. for a platform. Yeah. Uh, I'm blessed to be here. For sure. Thank we are lot. blessed to have you. Thank so, you, thank you. You know, since leaving the show, obviously, you know why we're here type shit. Yeah. Um, since leaving the show, like how you been feeling, what's your mental been like, you know? What's been so? What's been good for you? So being at the show, definitely, I would say coming back into the real world is definitely. Um, I won't say it's challenging, but it's definitely exhausting. Like I've been, I've been mentally exhausted just being in the villa. I ain't gonna say it's like jail, but it was like you watch twenty four seven. You, it's very like eyes on you. You can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. You can't say what you want to say. Um, you know, you're on the timetable. You don't even know the time. Like we had these little, we had these phones where they had different times and like different months. Like you ain't no, <laughs> yes, bro. So Squid Games. Basically. Damn. That shit was crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> I never did nothing like that. But yeah. it definitely was an awesome experience too. Just being like, you know, cause I always wanted to be on TV right. and like get my name out there and stuff like sure. that. But I was also trying to find love on there. Right. Um. But it definitely was a great experience, I would say, right. for sure. It definitely was, uh, like I said, I'm still trying to get in. You know, I'm just moving around now. Like, my life mm-hmm. finna take off, you feel sure. me? So I know one question I got for you. We, we actually knew you before the show, obviously. Yeah, going, absolutely, we go back. Football, we stuff did. like that. So go- <laughs> my, my one question is, I know you said you were exhausted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting off the show, and like you said, like obviously we've seen the show. It's yeah. very hard to portray your real self. How has that been since you've been off the show, going against what people think you are versus mm-hmm. you being the person that you actually know that you are? So you're saying basically like what you saw was what Jeff is? Exactly. Because I know, I mean, I talk to people during the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people have a lot of opinions. And a lot of people, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read them. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> lot of people read got, them. A lot of people yeah. got different opinions, different yeah. viewpoints. How has it been trying to, you know what I'm saying, show like, you know, that was you only saw ten minutes of Jeff maybe right. per episode. Right. How has it been trying to show like this is actually the type of person that I am? So basically, being on the show, I always knew going in I was going to like show my authentic self, and I wasn't going to change it for the camera. You know what I mean? Um, like what y'all seen was me, like the good, the bad. You know, um, I want to say I want to say even when the bad, it was just me. Wearing my heart on my sleeve, yeah, raw, emotion. For, raw emotion for somebody I care about and, and the people I care about, and um, you know they were seeing me as the funny, uh, you know, funny guy, you know, vulnerable guy. So when they seen me, you know, get mad, they probably switched them like, damn, what, what the hell? Like, you know what I mean? But little people, little do people know that I wear my heart on my sleeve for who I love and who and who I care about, and. That's that's just what it is. Like people can say what they want, but at the same time, like we human. We people gonna get mad. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And right. that situation, I just feel like 
Like I just trying to stand up for who I who I care about. Right. You know. Well, what also, I mean? let's keep it a stack. <laughs> What's up? Keep it a stack. That show, I feel like, does a lot in regards to like comparing yourself to others. Oh yeah, for now, sure. Now, Naja was saying that you were jealous of Isaiah when she was on, like, pulled yeah. up on him first. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. at the same time, she's kind of making it apparent that she's on you, too. Right. So, I guess what I'm about to ask is, like, mentally going in there, like, yeah. did, you feel, did, you, did you feel insecure in, in some type of way, like, as far as, like, the setting? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm never insecure. I don't think it's more insecure. Mm-hmm. It's more like, I'm peeping how she move. Mm-hmm. What's she going, because we in this mental state where, you know, it might be people playing for the game. People yeah. might be trying to win for love, for real. But I'm trying to see like who she who she messing with, who she want. Yeah. And you know, you you never really know because it's TV's cameras. Yeah. You don't know what's real in there. Right. You never know what's real in there. Um, and that's why I was just like hesitant about everything, especially like at the Casa Moore. Right. I'm like, what's she really? Mm-hmm. She really about me? Yeah. So I wouldn't say I was insecure. I, I would say like. I was just like peeping, like, damn, let's see if she really about me. Because right. I've been vulnerable and I've been about her since I, mm-hmm. since she, she came in the villa. Yeah. I never switched up on her and I always showed her, like, the respect and, the, and, the, and what I wanted. So, what, so, 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 <laughs> boy, I hate, trust me, I watched, trust me, I watched it before you <laughs> was even older, my boy. Yeah, yeah. What was going through your head when you walked down at the Casa Moore and you yeah. peeped? Jeez, Shorty man. there with another dude. Cause I mean, obviously we know you had your you had your chance. Yeah, you had a couple in there you could have pulled up. I on. did, I did. I was, I was, I felt like I was proud. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like, man, that boy Jeff growing up crazy. Yeah, I was, I was. But at the same time, I got another question to back that up too. Yeah, for sure. Let's, we talk. Yeah, yeah, we talk. Like, yeah, talk. Like, talk. What was going through your head? Cause I could, you was like, oh shit. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. When I came out, I came out cause I already knew. Like I just had a feeling that she. She did that because when we left, we wasn't like, when we left with Casa Moore, we wasn't like stable. Yeah, at that, that point. Sense, you feel me? No doubt, no doubt. So basically, when I pulled up back to the villa and I seen her next to, to, a, new, to a new dude, you know, I was like, damn, but I didn't want to make a scene or nothing like that. I was never going to make a scene. It, it ain't that deep. But she had to know what it is. She had to feel me that night. Like, nah, I ain't showing you no attention. I ain't doing none of that. Yeah, we. Well, I mean, we all saw it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like she had to feel me on that, but I knew I was gonna come back. I fuck that's, with her. That's what she said too. She said like the next day y'all spoke it out anymore. Yeah, but we. At the same time, it's like human nature, bro. You were salty. I was salty for yeah. sure. Hell yeah, yeah. hell like, yeah. Bro, but grow, she was being vulnerable because she yeah. she thought I was gonna be a hoe. But one once again, it's like your image per like, it's like deceiving. Right. Because. They are all assuming Jeff's a player. He has ties. Right. Dude, he has right. Ties. Right. He has all this. He's you definitely forget, coming back with your shorty. For sure. The key point. Yeah. For sure. That too. Yeah. Okay, get that. Team light skin. Yeah, Come on now. See, they be hating. Look, light skin. No, dark skin be hating on light skin, man. Bro. That's crazy. What about us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you my brother. Come yeah, on now. But um, I just kind of felt like, damn. Once again, don't judge a book by its cover. Because yeah. This nigga did not leave with any shorties. I did. And he came back. Saying that you pay another guy, but at the same time, that guy, yeah, um, Nick, right? Yeah, Nick. Uh, just recently came out as bisexual. Yeah. Did any of you guys know that? I don't think we. Nah, I didn't no know. No one knew that. Nah, I didn't know. Because as soon as like you walk out, yeah, she's crying. Like if I'm Nick, I'm like, what the hell? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, I'm sick. Yeah. So was it like like was that connection even real? Was that just in response to you to her thinking like, oh, he's definitely pulling up with some shorty? Like, did she even know that? I ain't. I don't. I don't, think, no, I don't think she. I don't think she. I think the girls was in her ear, mm. and telling her like, "Yeah, Jeff gonna do this." Yeah, you know what I mean. Back. Yeah, but I shocked the hell out of everybody. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about her the whole time, bro. Like, you know, I did my thing that one night. Mm. Y'all saw. Yeah. After that, I just did. Like, Came I was. Back, yeah. yeah, I was that just shit. like. That show just feel like it's a very just humbling experience. Like for it is, you it go, is. You I go, learned a lot about myself on yeah, that show. But like you can go from being like a big fish in a small pond here, yeah. like getting who you want, yeah. And then like even when you first start off the show, like you walk out and they essentially like bidding on like people stepping forward that they think you're attractive or not, right? No, so dude, like, like bro, so I, been I mean, you don't get picked. I'm yeah, like, so like you humble, yeah. you humble right oh, off the bat. You definitely, yeah. humble. Like, you definitely you're going humble. in there like, oh, I'm about to be straight, and then. 
no, imagine nobody stepping forward, and then right. you got to go pick someone. Right, right. Like, that's that's a tough. Like, and that's why I kind of. And that's why I kind of glad I didn't go on the at the beginning because. Yeah, that's tough. You feel me? Because some not all the girls are stepping out for it. Oh, because you know number one, I mean? yeah, they want to see. First of all, they want to see who, who else is coming. Is. Right, yeah. right. And it's like I don't want to step forward, and then someone else who I like right. comes in. And I ain't I'm gonna lie, show is really on some like popularity, like shallow shit. Oh, I mean, to begin with, I mean, it's, it's sure. tough. And yeah. then you kind of eventually kind of peel the Yeah, you pull a layer. Yeah, it's tough. Definitely. Layers back and you start seeing, like, who people really are. Definitely. And, like, I kind of feel like, for you, you're portrayed as just a good fuck. Yeah, you know I don't like saying? that. I don't like that at all either. And it's kind of, like, coming back to the to the issue of, like, black men, too. Like, yeah. We're, like, we're almost fetishized to a point. Yeah. Instead of, like, truly respected for, like, what we got up here and, like, how we really feel. Right, shit. right. Because you know how people are always, like, oh, like, Man's mental health is important, things yeah. like that, but it clearly wasn't important to them about you. No. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I would just say, I would just say, you know, that was like a first impression thing. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm an intellectual guy. Mm -hmm. Like, if I really, like like I always say in school, bro, if I really applied myself, bro, I yeah. could have went to Harvard. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Hey, bro. I could have went to Harvard, bro. Real hey, shit. Cold rain, nigga? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Go cards. Hey, I'm dead ass though, bro. But nah, I probably couldn't went to Harvard. But I'm a I, I'm I'm street smart for sure, and I know like how to move. If that makes sense, like I know what's going on. Like you can't play me. What's the square root of eighty one? Nah, probably. Nice job. Thank you. Problem. Stop playing. Hey, <laughs> Thank you. No, See, no come on, that's easy. But uh, but all right, let me. I gotta hop into one then. What's up? So I feel like. Going on the show, you definitely, you know what I'm saying, mature to a point because I feel like when you're in tough situations, yeah, it, it, it makes you have to talk it out with that person at For some sure. point in time. So sure. I know one of the big questions I was getting hit with when we said you was coming on, the whole big blow up with the, the buddy buddy comment. Yeah. That's your new and name. then um, buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy. essentially I heard a lot of people saying like, Jeff went from saying he, you know, what I'm saying he want to have kids with Shorty, marry Shorty, and then yeah. blow up on Shorty. Walk me through what's going through your head from start to finish. Buddy, comp, buddy, buddy, comment. Yeah. What was your viewpoint? Why you finna walk up, through? And then walk through. to the point when all the way to the end, where y'all decide to leave. Okay, so the fire pit. We was at the fire pit. We had to go to where we uh making our decisions at. As soon as we got up, she said. And I just said, we're not voting for Phoebe and Chad. I'm like, okay, that's fair, because they was fresh and they was new. Mm -hmm. Even though they was new, they was stronger than Jesse and Deb. Jesse and Deb been six weeks, so they not as strong as like Timmy and Zeta and uh, Isaiah and Sid. And they had the most time, you, and Deb telling the girls like she's still wishy-washy about Jesse. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I've been, people have been telling me about that too. Yes, bro. Like, yeah. come on, that okay. that don't make sense, and that's why we decided to vote. You know, we're not going to vote Chad and Phoebe because even though we, because I we made it to the final four, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, we wanted to do was what we felt was like real. real. Mm -hmm. like, let's be real. Like you telling the girls like you don't even. And I love Deb. Yeah. Deb, that's that's sis. Hey, she's funny as hell too. Bro. She yeah. funny, bro. She the funny girl yeah. version of me. Yeah, like, you know funny. what I mean? She the girl side, she funny. It's her and Serenity. They funny as hell. Yeah, Serenity cool. It's up there. Yeah, nah, for sure. <laughs> nah, for sure, cool, for sure. For sure. Um But I just felt like she, you know, she was just wishy washy about Jesse. You know what I mean? And then you see they officially made a boyfriend and girlfriend. But that's what it took. You feel what I'm saying? So you sticking to the principle. Yeah, it's the principle. Yeah, like we came here for a real. Yeah, like I came, I came on the show for some real connection. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's and ironic that you talked about that because everyone was saying like to me like these are some of the questions we want. They were saying like when you said that Jesse could find better. Yeah, that's what you meant because Deb is not really sure about Jesse. Just because she wasn't sure about yeah. it. Yeah, and that's what and, you think. And he a hell of a guy, man. Yeah. You nice. know what I mean. Yeah, I love cool. Jesse. That's yeah. like my big bro. So like. And like I said, I love Deb too. Mm -hmm. It ain't no this. It just I speed was I'm gonna speed what people want to say, but they're not gonna say it. So 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 going back to the going back to the fire pit. Um, you know, I just felt like you know, you know, Timmy and Zita stood up, said they said you know Chad and Phoebe, which we knew. Um, everybody response was longevity. It, they didn't get no reason why. 
really why they voted. For, it was just longevity. They've been there. Exact. That's my point. It was like that. Was, so was, why was, you know it was like what I mean? That OG type. Of OG thing. shit. Right. So. And you buddy buddy with Jesse. Right. That's big bro. That's big bro. And I'm big bro. And I chose to pick against him. Pick against that's him. the part. Like, yeah. how am I being buddy buddy? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm cool. And, and I'm cool with Chad. That's my boy too. Yeah. And I'm and I'm. But Jesse, Phoebe, little a, sis, had a more, had more of a, like you guys were really. Yeah, bros, me and Jesse was really bros, yeah. like, and Tell I picked. You really a, fuck with him. Yeah, and yeah. I really picked against him, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it wasn't no buddy buddy. I was just being real about the situation. Mm -hmm. I was just being real about the situation. Yeah, it wasn't really like, you know, um, you know, Jesse and Jesse and Dad wasn't gonna pick me and Naja, so they had to pick, you know, Chad, Phoebe and Chad. Yeah. Um, but that's basically what it, you know. We said that. At the swings or wherever we send that by the pool, we was saying like that's what they was gonna do, and they did that. So I was like upset about it because nobody was being real, real about, about it. Yeah. That you know Deb ain't really she wishy washy about yeah. Jesse right now. This ain't a real connection. <clears throat> you feel me? Yeah. I hope they work out. Mm -hmm. I want that. I don't wish the worst on nobody, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never do. But I just being real, like I, I came on the show authentic self, and yeah. that's where I was gonna leave at. Right. So you know. Um, Let me ask you. Do you do you regret the way that you went about it? I would say... Like, looking back and seeing, like, how they, you know, portrayed you overall, as far as, like, that moment, do you yeah. regret, you know... I would... All I'm going to say is this. All I'm going to say is yeah. this. And Timmy, big bro, we cool. Mm -hmm. Like, we, he, he want to make a song and shit. I don't know why, but he want to make a song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I would say I was walking away. Y'all seen me walking away. Yeah. He said I was surrounded. Yeah. I didn't fuck that, with that. Yeah, that had you tight. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, we had wine and shit. I had a little alcohol in me and stuff like that. But I feel like I could have definitely handled that situation a little bit better. Um, but at the same time, you feel me? I just feel like, you know, Zita and Timmy was ganking up on me. Like Zita said something first. And then Timmy came. If Zeta didn't say nothing, Timmy was not gonna say nothing. Yeah, I, I, to that point, I think it was, <clears throat> Timmy was just stepping. He was in, in the back, bro. He was just he was just stepping. Yeah, Zeta did say, well, "Who's being buddy, that's buddy, his, Jeff?" Yeah, his, she did say that. Yeah, that's his shorty. She though, did so, say that. I mean, I I get why Timmy. Yeah, stepped he stepped up. Point. Yeah, yeah, that's his yeah, girl. Yeah. I, I get it. But like, if you won't really say something, then say something. You mm -hmm. feel me? But yeah, like I said, I don't got no I don't got no problem with Timmy. That's yeah. my boy, man. He cool. Did was there any like issue building up that led to that? Or that was just, you know, the wine. Nah, and me and Timmy, thing. yeah, me and Timmy was cool. Like, it wasn't no. I mean, make sure y'all dapped up later that episode. Yeah, we yeah. dapped up like we was good, bro. Like, it was just, you know. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, bro. And, and you know, um, I know I heard the, the F Naja part. Yeah. About that. You, you it, wasn't, it wasn't to her. Yeah. I was just highly upset that she, I felt like she was taking Timmy's side, Timmy's side and yeah. making sure he was okay before her man. Right. Supposedly her man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, some women actually backed you up uh, about. I your, believe that. I've been seeing a lot of that. Some shorties believe like you should stick with your man no matter what. Yeah, then we talking pri private. In private. Yeah. So it's like, but I feel leave like, with me and then, yes. but then like bring me yes. in private and later. But yes. I mean, I can see like you, you know, getting frustrated, you know, yeah. wine hit and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see all that. Playing a role into like your reaction, yeah. But I mean, everyone is human, you know. Everyone, you know, fucks up and shit like that. Yeah, so man, I'm human, man. Yeah. I, I don't let the internet stuff get to me. And at the end of the day, it's TV. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure that episode raised a lot of ratings. So you know, <laughs> you know, whole season for real. Like, we yeah, had a, no we had a, we had a, we had the greatest season of Love Island of all time, bro. All time, all time. Calling it now for sure. Uh, mm. Even though, even though y'all weren't exclusive, yeah. I mean, y'all around each other every day. Yeah, you talking about like me and Nadja? Yeah, y'all. That's my baby. That's Y'all essentially baby. went through. I mean, I'll put it in quotations. Breakup. I mean, you essentially lead a show. Yeah. You don't finish your final four. Yeah, yeah. And everybody, America sees the whole blow up. How has things been past show? Like y'all still kick talking, trying to kick it. So or? me and Nadja, me and Nadja. That's that's my baby. That's my baby. Interesting. Now say this Spanish. Say this Spanish. I, I know she say, taught you. I can't say it. I, I, Come forgot, on, the, I forgot that shit. <laughs> More bien. But, <laughs> but nah, that's my baby. Um, like we real like good friends. Like you know what I mean. Uh, obviously, I want to you know work shit out with her. Mm. So uh, I don't care like who in my DMs and shit like that. I don't, I don't care about that. Like I'm, you know, I'm about Naja. Um. 
Say it with your chest. No, nah, for sure. Like, you know, I want the world to know that. Um, Confessing his love. I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I did see some interviews and stuff, like, you know what I mean? And I was on the live, I was on IG live last night. Um, the shit went, the shit went well, bro. Like, you know, we had good responses. They seen that she she was in the IG live with me. And, you know, they were just saying, like, get back together and all this shit. Um, now nah, she definitely, like, like I said, I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm supposed to be seeing her this weekend. Hell yeah. You know, I got a club appearance in, the, in Atlanta. Yeah. Friday, so. Plug that. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> um, so basically, like, we gonna, we gonna see, you know, how that go. Hopefully it go good and just make sure, like, we, you know, we, we get an understanding. I want to talk to her in person because we was trying to talk, like, after, like, we left, but mm. we didn't have our phone and stuff. Um, so she, I know she was trying to get in contact with me, and I was trying to talk to her, too. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we going, bro, like, I'm going I'm to I'm make it right, man. I'm going to make it right for sure. So with Naja, I have a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple notes here, brother. Okay. Um, <laughs> you up, son? Um, Naja said that you know that time with the buddy buddy comment, right? People were wondering why she didn't run after you, mm-hmm. but she said when he when Jeff's angry, he needs space. That's true. Do you think she's correct as far as how she went about it, and giving you space was the correct thing? Or I just feel like I just feel like a hug or something mm. would have been nice. You feel me? <laughs> a hug or something would have been nice. I ain't gonna hey, lie. Bro. <laughs> you feel me? And then she could have walked away. That's it. But that's, but <laughs> y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta understand. A she, hug would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Boy, bro, like, you feel me? You changed, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, we three weeks. We three weeks in. Like, we still getting to know each other. It ain't like we knew each other for a long time. So, you still trying to figure somebody out. I mean, you saying three weeks, but I mean, bro, you with that person? I know twenty four seven, bro. Like, yeah, it was like that three weeks. It's it like three it's months. It's it accelerated. Did. Yeah, it was crazy. It's yeah. accelerated. I it mean, was crazy. You, like you said, you got Sydney and Isaiah saying, "I love you." Mm. Yeah, yeah it's that, different. That's tough. It's you feel me? Yeah. Like you in somewhere. That Kicked up. Yeah, and I real. think that's why our feelings still there too. Like mm-hmm. why we still care about each other a lot, and you know, like we really got each other like hearts. I mean, yeah. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, um, is there things I still need to work on? Yes. Like, do I get jealous sometimes? Yes. Like I'm human, and you know, like she do too. She even said it. I watched the episode back the other day. She was just like. Especially when, like, when Mackenzie came in, like, she was like, I don't want to get jealous, but it's finna come out. You feel me? But, you know, that's that's just real. Like, you know, like, we just was around each other all the time, and we built that connection. I just was iffy about shit because I didn't know the true intentions if it was just for TV. I've never been in a social experiment. Mm-hmm. You feel what I mean? Like, that's a different setting, bro. That's it's funny that you said the word iffy. Yeah. Because that's been a lot of that. I know with my dad. With your dad, but yeah, it's yeah. like your dad wasn't iffy. He, yeah, he didn't he say that. Said he, he said he would just want the best for his son. Yeah, yeah. Son. yeah. And that's every dad. That should be every dad. Every dad. Right. Yeah. yeah. Pops, pops ain't say that at all. I was just trying to see if like if that what he meant mm-hmm. when I said that. Yeah. But um. But he said he wants to make sure that she's for you. That's yeah, for sure. Said, yeah. Nah, definitely. Yeah. And, and, that's what I remember. And pops right about that shit. Like you know, he just just make sure his son okay. Yeah, looking out. Yeah, yeah. he just looking out, man. And um. Yeah, pops. Yeah, like. How does your dad feel now? He said, you know, I'm grown now. Like, yeah, it's like, I mean, it's up to me you. what I want right. to do. I mean, I think you've done, I think, I think you handled it well, man. I know yeah. my, my chick told me the same thing. It's like, no one's going to tell you really about yourself besides the person that really actually does care about you. Right. So, like, right. her saying that you can be, you know, a little aggressive or. Yeah, jealous. she was being real. Like, yeah, she yeah. keeping a buck. Yeah, nobody, she's nobody, keeping a buck. Yeah, if she, nobody's going to tell you about yourself then the like person, somebody the person that you want to yeah. be with. Right. So, the fact that you can, you know what I'm saying, acknowledge it. Know that you still got stuff to work on. Yeah, that's a for big sure. step. Nah, it yeah, is. I'm step. definitely, I'm definitely, you know, because y'all remember me back in school and shit. Man, come yeah. on, bro. Wild y'all know me. Wild Jeff. Wild, wild Jeff, called, buddy. Wild, wild Jeff. Wild boy. But nah, <laughs> <laughs> like, buddy was going to class with no shirt on. Man, <laughs> tripping, tripping, bro. Tripping, bro. Well, you were. <laughs> bro, at ODU, buddy will go to class man. with no shirt on, bro. Put man. a beater on. Put a beater on. Right out the boot bag. You just want to be Debo so bad. Oh, so bad, bro. <laughs> Stop being a bitch and come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, nah, I definitely came a long way. Yeah. Um, I just definitely, I think I'm finding myself more too. Mm-hmm. Just like being like 
And you know, I respect everybody when I when I met them and everything on the show. Um, just just quite frankly, when you came into the villa, you know, what I'm saying you came with a high energy. Yeah. What was going through? You? Did you have feel like you were gonna have any backlash? Because I mean, we saw you pretty much kiss every chick in the villa. Definitely. Did you feel like you were gonna have any backlash? Coming in. Obviously, yeah, coming in with the obviously with the fellas because it was just you and Buddy down there, y'all two with the chicks, right? And you know what I'm saying, you was out there just picking them all up, grabbing buns sure. at all, so sure. going crazy, <laughs> going crazy, so, crazy. crazy. So, so basically, I came in, you know, I'm a bomb, sh- I'm a bombshell. Anyway, so I have to definitely like make a person good mm-hmm. impression. Um, I definitely came in and was like, yeah, I don't care about these boys, and I'm finna take that girl and everything, and. Um, I definitely didn't, I didn't care. So I came in, you know, looking the way I did and everything. And, you know, you know, Bria was the one that really, she wanted me to push up on yeah, her first. Her, yeah. Um, but I guess cause Zita was single. That's the only reason why, you know, not only reason, I mean, Zita is a goddess. Yeah, yeah. For real. She's, queen. she's bad. Yeah, she's a queen. I'm so happy for her, her and Timmy, man. They. It makes sense. Yeah, um, they work out. Yeah, she like big sis now. Like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like ain't none of that stuff no more. Um, so um, coming in, basically, you know, I just want to set an example. Like, yeah, I, y'all can't fuck with me. You feel me? You know, I came in with the with the jewelry on the the Balenci's and McQueen's, everything like. Leather Cause pants. I know them. I, Leather pants. I, Cause I know they weren't gonna that have that. Boy, got stretcher <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they weren't. I knew they weren't gonna. I knew they weren't gonna have that. Man. I had to come in. Yeah, come and be different. Be different, man. Yeah, man, for sure. Know, um, be yourself. That should be yeah. myself. That's me. Um, yeah. So with all the, you know, I definitely wanted to make you know people like, like especially the boys be like, yeah, okay, damn, okay, yeah, like we sweating now. We yeah. sweating now. Timmy was. Oh yeah. For sure. For sure. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Cause at the end of the day, you know, he, he got yeah, what he, he got. He, 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 he good. He good. He yeah. good. But at yeah. first, not so much. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Come on, bro. Let's let's, let's I mean let's everybody's be, be real. Like, that's what I'm gonna be tough. I'm gonna be tight. It's tough. I'm gonna be tight. It's tough. I'm gonna be tight. I'm just saying it's a chick you won't. Yeah. Y'all not y'all not together. Right. And you see my man coming with a hamburger. But you sneak are you sneak let me ask you a question. You sneak this in when he does that? Or you just being like, I mean, okay. Everybody, I mean, everybody I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking you. Me personally, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I used to be a petty type. Yeah. So I'm a little different. I, you know what I'm saying? I had to grow up a little bit. But yeah. I, don't, I don't want to yeah. say I would have dissed. I would have been like, you know what? Like, yeah. I'm doing my thing. But he came in. It is what it is. If right. I want her back, I got to apply the pressure, which he essentially did. He did. So, he good. I would have just got out my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and been like, let's do it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he did, man. And you know, Timmy, Timmy did his thing, man. He, he good. Do you think the show portrayed you accurately? That's a great question. That is a great question. What y'all saw is you had me weak. I ain't gonna lie. I was laughing man, at a lot of your shit. Man, like I, you are a funny ass nigga. I, I feel like I feel like I definitely turned that show up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like I definitely made an impact on that show, like the whole series. Like yeah, yeah, season, season one. Yes, bro. Um, like I said at the end, I feel like. It was just a heated moment. It that ain't that ain't you. Yeah, that shouldn't ain't me. that one moment shouldn't define what yeah. you what you I don't think it did too. It, yeah. it just people got opinions about it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I and I take it all in, bro. Like yeah. I'm not tripping about it. But you are definitely remorseful for the fuck Naja comment. Oh yeah, for sure. I yeah, mean, that was just and that wasn't even to her. That was like under my breath. Y'all gotta understand we got mics on. Y'all got mics. They gonna hear that shit loud, bro. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even to her. It was just like, man, like you feel yeah, me? Yeah, you just tight, man. I was just mad. Yeah. And y'all gotta understand, like, I was just fed up. Like being in there, bro. Yeah. So everything just came out probably. I don't yeah. know, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. But no, nah, I went towards her. It was just like under my breath shit, but the mic picked it up loud. Mm. So <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this. What's up? Do you think after everything that's happened, mm. even all like, after interviews and everything like that, I don't know if you heard from any other people. Yeah. But do you honestly think that Naja's intentions with you were true? Like do you think they were really real? Cause personally, I'll say this with answer. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of felt like she was wishy washy. I did too. And kind of playing the field, playing the game. Yeah, for sure. Because at the same time, it's like, yeah, Jeff, you can be mad, yeah. but this is what you signed up for. I feel that. <sighs> no, so it's like, tough you, though, boy. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I, but you I, you gotta look at the show, bro. But at the same time, I've been looking at the interviews yeah, too. I, you got. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying show wise, mm-hmm. the purpose of that show is if you really gonna find love. 
Yeah. You're gonna be tested. Yeah, you're gonna be tested. Yeah, you go. Right. You understand? Yeah, right. You go. You good excuse. Have to, yeah, you gotta. <laughs> but I mean, you you gotta go talk to that person. See, like, all yeah. right, I'm 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 physically attracted to you. Yeah, and I'm gonna get more from you than I'm getting from. Who no, I'm for sure. Got. I Definitely. mean, you you saw it happen with numerous people that left together. They yeah. everybody everybody got tested at some point in time. And that's what I'm saying about playing the game. Yeah, because this is a game. I mean, essentially, yeah, it's a sure. game for sure. But like, what do you? What, like, what's your opinion? My fault. I just feel like I just feel like with Naja. I definitely thought she was just coming in and having fun at first, for sure. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like once I seen, like, at the Casa Moore, when she started crying, bro, I was like, damn, like, she, because this ain't no acting, like, you feel me? Like, when she started crying when I walked in single, bro, I was like, then she followed me to the refrigerator and shit, like, the kitchen. I was like, damn, she might really be fucking with me, like, yeah. you feel me? And then as time went on, we just started growing mm-hmm. and growing and growing and growing. So. I was. I feel like I was scared. I feel like I was more scared than insecure. I feel like I definitely tried to like. I had my guard up still. I was trying to be vulnerable, but damn, like, cause I'm so used to having a girl and then that don't work out. All right, what's up, shorty? You feel me? Mm-hmm. To another. Always, yeah, always. Like, on to the next. Yeah, type of thing. but I yeah. really was putting my eggs in one basket, basket. with her, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, like, yeah, cause what's definitely. her name? Uh, what's her name? Mackenzie came on. Yeah, yeah, and she, and she got the followers and, yeah, and she everything. Came, Cause she came, she's I like, remember yeah, I rock with you. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Cause I remember seeing her IG when I was like uh, not on the show. Like yeah. she got the followers and mm-hmm. everything. Like, but you just didn't feel the same way as you. That did shit don't matter to me, bro. Yeah, like me and Naja was there, and I told Mackenzie like mm-hmm. she could pull me for a second chat, but it probably ain't gonna do nothing. You feel mm-hmm. me? Cause like I'm all yeah, in on Naja. He did. He doubled down. Double down for he sure. Down. I was. That's just my loyalty, man. Like I'm. I'm loyal to who I'm fucking with. And that's why I felt like, that's why I felt hurt when I didn't feel like she was on my side. Okay, a couple of times it kind of just felt like she just keeps playing with you. I feel that. I do mean, you, do you? That or? I feel like, I feel like she just playing the game. I feel like going through the show, she was really showing like she down for me. Now looking back at it, like. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it at the time, cause you gotta understand. Like I said, my mental it was it wasn't all the way there, bro. It it was just like, it was just putting like we just sitting there talking about our feelings twenty four seven, and I'm and I'm thinking like, um, is this girl really down for me? And I'm just putting stuff in my head, you know what I mean? Um, so that's 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 just something like I had to think about and yeah. really had to sit back and think about like. Leaving the show after the show mm. and stuff. I mean, plus we see stuff that you don't see. I mean, we see the yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we see, we, the, don't we see everything. See, we see the girls talks. You don't see that stuff. So yeah, I don't see. I didn't it's, see none yeah, of that. It's totally yeah, different. It's totally different from our viewpoint to yours. That's why I actually want to ask how awkward was it? I can't remember what challenge it was, but it was those Twitter questions. Mm. You when know, said, it, bro. They, yeah, those Twitter que- that that was a very. I was cringing watching that 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 episode. Yeah, like sit, being in it. Were you nervous, like, as far as, like, questions you could possibly get? Yeah. Like, would it make y'all pull y'all apart at all just based on what do you America have to is seeing? Yeah, yeah, like, that's tough. Yeah. Uh, the questions, I feel like, I feel like a couple couple of the couples were scared because they, you know, they didn't know how they was going to take that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't think, you know, when they said, you know, not just playing Jeff and stuff like that, I ain't really get upset about that. Mm-hmm. Like, if that's the case then things would have been different mm-hmm. there. but it wasn't so um i just don't i just don't think like i said i'm just seeing a lot of just like thinking about it, stuff now like looking back at stuff if that makes sense it's it's different so i can't really say you know how i feel on that right now because thinking about it it's just like damn like maybe she was down for me like she said she was or whatever but being in that environment, you just don't think clearly, if that yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's very tough. It is tough, yeah, man. Tough. I ain't never do no shit like that. So yeah. it's like no doubt. You like I usually just meet girls out on the outside, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Have you been on any other interviews since the show has stopped? Like is there anything else coming out for I guess in your point of view or any reunion stuff? Are you a part of any of that? No, I, I'm not a part of the reunion. Um it actually aired today. Mm. So, but uh, now nah, so by the time they see this, it's already gonna be aired. Um, yeah, it's gonna already be aired. So, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they didn't invite me. They didn't invite you to uh, that. 
They didn't invite me at all. Dude, did they tell you why? Or they just told you right? you were not inviting you? No, they told me why. Um, I guess. What's one thing that you would change? Yeah, that's, that's a great. That's a great. Yeah. question. that is a great question. From everything going on, yeah, what, what would I would change? change. I would change. Basically, making sure I'm in a great state of mind before I do something like that again. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, like I was in there smoking vape, bro. I don't smoke. You don't smoke, right? You don't. Yeah, come like on. I had to feel something, bro. That's how bad it was. Like, yeah. Um, I feel like I would. I would change. I wouldn't really change nothing, man. I, I was loved in there. Everybody I'm wanted. Say, you, everybody wanted to see me win in there. Everybody wanted great. to be around me. Everything was great, bro. Yeah, I, I everything was only, great. I said the only thing that changed was just that last that last episode's when people started looking at you different. Do you regret and I was that, like, bro? Do I regret that? I mean, you get that last episode. Not not even like scratch that. I know where you stand on what you did, like what you said. Bro. Right. Like not even that. Right. Do you regret like fucking up on Timmy? And then everything that happened after that. Do you regret? That? I don't think that was even a buck up. Buck up. If he, if I bucked up on him, he would have failed. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. Just bucked step, up is the wrong yeah, word, but you know, like I'm saying, you stepped to him. Just step to him. Like, do you regret step. doing that? I just feel like, I just feel like when somebody say you running, you know. You know. Yeah, in your mind, I'm not running. Yeah, from nothing. I'm not running. Like, who am I running from? You? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not for you. Yeah. yeah, it just, it's just that. But it was just in the heat of the moment. Me and Timmy, like I said, we on good terms. Mm. We good. Um, I just feel like I was just stepping up for who I who I care about, bro. Yeah. And I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I do stuff differently. I wasn't gonna let no cameras change who I am. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I, we could have just talked about it, but it was just too it was just too. Heavy. Let me let me ask you this too, because I want you to. I feel like you already see like what you already know and how you feel. Yeah. When I was saying like, do you re- like? regret that even happening because yeah. it ended up you having to leave the show. Yeah. Not so, even on your own terms. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I think and it, it was my own terms too. I was ready to go. Yeah, you didn't give a damn about winning. No, we didn't think about the money. We didn't Word. give a fuck about that money, bro. Word. My fault. I thought No, nah, no, nah, you good. Yeah. No, nah, you good. We, the show we didn't we didn't even talk, find love. We didn't even talk about that money. Yeah. Oh God. Like mm-hmm. we didn't talk about that money. I didn't care about that. I, I really didn't because I know what come out. You just ready to get the hell out. I was. I was ready. I was ready to get the hell out of there. Um, <laughs> I told Naja, like, if Chad and Phoebe leave, we're leaving. She was like, Jeff, I'm with you. People don't know that either. Yeah, for sure. No, no, we talk. We talking about it. I just wanted to talk. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah, we talking. Yeah, we talking. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. But, but basically, yeah, like, me and Naja was ready to go. Naja was ready to go too. A lot I of mean, people don't know that shit. From I mean, Naja, Naja did say she was ready to go though. But yeah. I mean, she said she couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, the, she yeah. said it on the, uh, on, on the yeah on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to yeah. the yeah. point she was ready to go, bro. To your point, though, I mean, you came there for what you wanted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You still doubling down. Naja's your baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You still trying. You go see her this weekend. Yeah, for sure. So your whole focal point was going on that show. Leave it with someone. Right. Did it? Could it have ended better? Possibly yes. But at the same point in time, what's the end result? You seen her this weekend. Right. You trying to build on Not it? To build you on trying to grow. I think I honestly think like. Seeing like you know having this time apart, oh yeah, definitely makes the help. heart grow fonder. Yes, bro. You know that? I think it really is gonna help. Cause she did say on that interview, like the last one I just talked about, yeah. she did say like y'all chapter is not over. No, nah. that's what she said. No, so I'm no. like, like, wait, you still want to be with him? Yeah. Cause like she made it seem like he's jealous, he's this, he's that. But then our chapter's not over, so everyone's like, yo, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know I know, what I'm I know they're confused. Yeah, yeah but I, I mean, shit. Hearing you now speak on it, yeah. it's like, yeah, there's unfinished business. No, nah, so. for sure, it's yeah. definitely unfinished business. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get her the world one day. You real shit, like if that mm. if that happens, you feel me? I'm a different. Yeah, I'm a different, you. Take I'm the, a different part of my life. Take now, the diamond bro. out your ear, put on a ring. You good? My <laughs> you boy. feel me? Real <laughs> shit. Real shit. Nah, like, like, and, and I know. <laughs> <laughs> He was dumb, bro. But basically, like, like, I'm definitely going to, you know, see where that go. And I know she wants to, too. You feel me? It's mm. it's Because she understands it's, like, real world shit now. Like, yeah, serious. No, yeah, it's no more villa. Yeah. No more villa. You ain't so, around everybody 24-7 right. now. Right. You got life now, that, now. Now that you say, like, it's real life now, and this is, like, a maybe a personal question, but, like, a true question, mm-hmm. something along those lines. Yeah. Hearing you speak right now, it seems like you're really tested mentally. Yeah. Um, since now leaving, mm-hmm. are you interested in your mental health even more now? And are you interested in therapy? 
and tapping into maybe some things that you yeah. need to talk about and address for yourself in order to keep it moving. Like you yeah. say, like I want, I'm working on myself. Yeah, for sure. Would you be open to doing that? I just feel like, or just being like even an advocate. I just feel like, honestly, like that episode in air, I don't think people will be asking about my mental. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. I'm only saying this though. From you said like you was ready to go. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, not, not even, no, no, no. Yeah, okay. That's I mean, not, that's not what I meant. I meant, I, I meant the whole experience, really mentally stressed. Oh yeah, you out. nah, yeah, nah. I, I mean, you, you even say you wish you wouldn't went into a better head. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, so like, forget the, forget, the, we're yeah, off yeah, that yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally talking about you. Okay. And how you feel, and like, did this show tap into any like untapped emotions for you? And are there things that, like you said, you need to work on? But moving forward, what are you? What do you think you need to do to, to make those things? Mm. You know, be gone in a sense. Like, you know, are you are you willing to go to therapy? Are you willing to really I, tap I, in? Like, I'm definitely gonna tap into therapy mm -hmm. and just like just talk, man. That's the shit is free, by the way. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I, yeah, bro. I tell you one thing for me going to it. Yeah, and talking to someone that has like not a place essentially yeah. like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? That you just talking to. Yeah, bro, it's so refreshing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They get, and you get so many different point of views. And just the back with you, I'm I low key my friends. Been like you, you may need this because I've had like trying summer myself, mm -hmm. and uh, part of me is scared to do it. Okay, so it's like more mostly like part of me is like afraid to really attack these things head on. Yeah. Um. Do you have any like distance on that? Like just being like real with no. yourself. Like, are you are you ready to do it? Like, you I, ready to go? I, I feel like I ain't ready to do it. Just yeah. like off the strength, like it's some it's some traumatic stuff I went through in my past, yeah. like relationship with girls, and, you know. Trust issues with family mm. members too. Like people don't know a lot about that stuff either. So I feel like that played a part in stuff too mm. in the villa. Just like me being not sure about what Naja's true intentions was. Yeah. And how the boys was moving in there too. Um, so it just it definitely mentally got me um got me clouded for sure. Um and I feel like just talking about this stuff and really tapping in with myself is just gonna help me and understanding that stuff. So for sure, I definitely think it's gonna help too. Um, and just build a connection. Like if I had somebody to talk to that understands me, you feel me? Mm. I just feel like a lot of people don't understand me. Be willing to listen and unravel yeah. some things. Yeah. Let's be. Let's keep it also honest. A lot of y'all are talking shit behind computers. Yeah. But none of y'all would have survived what like he's talking about. Yeah. A lot of people would have crashed out. For sure. Like that shit, you stuck it to the like. You made it to the final. Four. I made it to the end, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I think that I was know, from the outside. So yeah, <laughs> outside looking in, it's easy to like be like Jeff is he's shitty. He's yeah, this. Yeah, he's yeah. da da da. But it's like you don't know what Jeff really had to endure. Yeah, but they were just on my team the whole yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. and That's you made one mistake. Right. But like we've acknowledged that mistake today. Like mistakes. Yeah, like mistakes people be making outside the. Yeah, or bigger than what you did. Bigger than what I did. And like, uh, to be yeah. honest with you, you didn't even like. I you didn't do nothing like, crazy. You stepped up. Yeah, I just stepped. Like you said, I was running, and I'm right here. Even that, Simple. and I and I did what my girl said. Yeah, at the time, like I did what she said. You feel yeah. me? Like that's what she wanted. So I was like, I'm gonna say it. Mm -hmm. That's a that's what a real man ain't gonna do. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like be, they bashing me for that. Yeah, and I just think like like I'm saying, like we've people have been bashed before. You're gonna be bashed after you. Yeah, I just think that sometimes we need to have a little bit more empathy and humility. Yeah, in that regard, because it's like we're not on that show. Right. We're on our phones watching and commenting and doing all this shit. But right. Like, we ain't there. Right. And so I kind of feel like it's unfair in your situation because, like I said, like, you're not perfect. I understand you have some tendencies where you're about to work on them and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it is what it is. But I just think that sometimes it can be that energy can just not be wanted because yeah. we don't know the backstory. We don't know what's going on. For sure. So I just think that a little bit more empathy your way yeah. for someone who's so beloved right. the whole season right. and still is loved, you know what I'm saying? I think you deserve more empathy than anything. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not perfect. I got things to work on. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, I just really hope, like, you really take that next step because, obviously, like, I don't want to see none of my brothers, like, yeah, nah. some, like, sad nah. shit, obviously. You Ain't nothing going to stop nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going up. Yeah. I'm, for sure. Like, so, for sure. For sure. So, for sure. so, and all this, you know, in general, I guess we're about to wrap up. But like, what's next for you? What's next, man? I'm so basically, so I just signed a deal with Fashion Nova. You feel me? Signed yeah, a deal. I need them jeans, nigga. 
Yeah, we 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 just signed a deal. With, we just signed a deal with Fashion Nova. Um, okay. to be like an influencer and mm. you know posts, get paid for and stuff like that. Um, you know I'm doing a couple podcasts. Um, I'm for sure moving. Just staying in LA. I want to be in LA. Um, influencer Central. Yeah, that for sure. For real. For sure. I definitely want to get on shows like I want to do shows like. Power and stuff like that. Yeah. I want to get it. I want to tap into that. Yeah. And I want to do runway modeling. Okay. For sure. Definitely want to do more. Lindsay, y'all can cut the check. Yes, for sure. But Lindsay, y'all see this shit. Man. Yeah, show the shoes, nigga. Man, come on now. They can see it. <laughs> come on. No, now. no, take, yeah. Pop on. Come on now. You stupid. <laughs> yeah. But, but basically, like, I just want to, I just want to, you know, keep growing. Um, man, I hit 50K now on Instagram. That's big. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Um, but I just want to just keep on growing, growing as a person and just like, Man, I just want to make money and, and spend time, like, you know, with drinking your protein shakes and <laughs> eating weights, looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak, man. But nah, I definitely want to. That's what I'm typing into, man. Mm-hmm. I definitely want to keep on growing and keep on building this, and you know, the grind don't stop, man. It don't stop. Well, I mean, y'all, I mean, my I'm gonna say y'all heard it here first. Yes, sir. I fashion Nova. I appreciate y'all, man. Fashion For Nova. Sure. New Fashion Nova. Oh yeah, we gonna try to get that boohoo man too. Yeah, yeah we, we need I'm docs. A, it's in the worst. It's Boo-hoo. In the worst. It's, definitely, it's definitely in the worst. Yeah, y'all need work on y'all drip. Y'all it's on the, oh, we do? Who? I'm good. I'm Don't look good. Yeah. Way. Who? I'm, <laughs> Yo, I'm yeah. amazing. I'm good. Yeah, I'm 11. Amazing. Here we see you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick, too. Just a uh, side question. We probably just use this as extra because yeah, yeah. we're basically done, but we'll, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, what's up? Um, who would you say was your best friend in the villa? Ooh. I got it. Because you was, but nah, you got one choice. I don't need to yes. talk. No, no, because he was about to count. I got it. Yeah. Mm. And Zay too. Zay's cool. As I said, you, no, had, was, you got one. Was, no, I don't. I got no, I'm it. saying if you had to pick one. Because you was cool, cool with everybody. everybody. I was cool with everybody. Everybody. Which I love to see. Yeah. yeah I was cool with everybody. Us Cincinnati niggas love to see. have love for everybody. For everybody. Unless you step to us. Yeah. That's Yo. it. Unless you step. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's all it is. It's a problem. But um, nah, um, I definitely went to Jesse more. But I will say Chaz. Yeah. Is my okay. He moving in with me in LA. For real? Yeah. That's lit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, you That's heard it here real. first. <laughs> Chaz, make sure you have that rent, bro. <laughs> That's it. Man, we got 5K. That bitch 5K. Each? Nah, 5K. Bro, we going to split it. 2,500? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pay the first 5K the first couple months. But, yeah. Yeah, but. And they got Brittany. Come on now. But, uh, <laughs> but, um. Uh, That's tough. But, um, yeah, but basically just. Shit, um, yeah. Jesse was like a big brother, so I go to him with stuff. Me and Chaz was just flaming each other and shit. Like, yeah. So definitely experience of a lifetime. Though, yeah, bro. yeah. Experience that of was fun. Yo, my nigga, my nigga Jesse looks like D'Angelo. Like, how the, does the it feel? <laughs> the braids. <laughs> Bro, no, we, no, 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 no. He had no barber or nothing, bro. bro I saw it was bro. one episode. It was bro. slow. I'm like, Jesse. Who, who was cutting you up? That it? Was it Jesse? Bro, I did that shit. No, it was somebody cutting you oh, up. Oh, that was Timmy. Okay. I, I was like, somebody was cutting Jeff up. I was just like, How do they not yeah. have a barber for y'all? I don't know, bro. Nah. <laughs> they got to have a barber. I would have been, 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 I would have been just hot. like you in a Dewey or a scarf. Yeah, so. Yeah, I would have been hot. Dewey yeah. or a scarf yeah, every episode. Yeah, every episode. He did, though. Shit. I did. Damn, that's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Did. Till it was time Dewey, to every strip. Till it was time to grow. But, um, yeah, bro. Um, It was cool, man. Um, It was both, like, like I said, all the guys, man, we all laughing. Shit, we always had a great time, bro. Mm-hmm. We miss each other a lot. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Yeah, I'll put in, like, any, like, maybe, you know, like, some family trips or something like that. Yeah, later. Going, I think we're going out to Cabo or something. Nice, something like that. Lit. Or, uh, you heard it here first again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think we doing. I think we gonna plan something for Sydney's birthday. <laughs> oh my god. But anywho, though, yo, I appreciate you. No, I appreciate you coming out for real. Brothers, great bro. seeing you. Proud of you. Bro. Yes, sir. Base, big bro. Big bro. Appreciate y'all. This elephant in the room podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Man, we like out. And subscribe Be safe for them guys, man. Peace. Stay on the up. Sure.